What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Massive breaking news. USTC repeg, soft peg coming very soon. We're going to be breaking down the Ziggy's proposal. The final edition dropped six minutes ago, and I couldn't wait to bring this to you. We'll take a quick look at the market as well and what is going on with Luna Classic. So if that's something you like and you want to be up to date with everything going on with Terra Luna Classic, be sure to subscribe to this channel. We are so close to breaking 14,000. Let's absolutely send it in this video. Also, leave a like if you found this useful. Now, let's get into it. Crypto market currently sitting 1.05 trillion, 0.65% down with Bitcoin just under that 23k ETH at 1567. If we move down the list, we get to the 50th largest cryptocurrency out there. We see Terra Luna Classic 1726. Current price up against Bitcoin and up in volume 51.57%, $1.029 billion market cap. So holding pretty strong. We'll take a look at the technicals in just a second, but I wanted to bring you this. This is the USTC repeg from Ziggy, literally dropped, like I said, you know, 44 minutes ago, six minutes, we had the final update for it. So ultimately, what is this? Well, it's written by, some, you know, Duncan, who manages the Onyx Validator with PFC and is a white label service provider. Duncan does not have any formal affiliation with the Terraform Labs or any other major organizations like Terra Civita. He's ultimately a validator that validates on a number of chains and also has investments across a lot of the Cosmos ecosystem. Now, He's done a few proposals, and this has kind of been the reiteration, the rediscussion, the come back to this final USTC repeg. Now, we'll take a breakdown of this, in, and it says, The proposal describes an actionable framework for the Lunk community to repeg USTC from a code level, a consensus level, both technical and social, and guidelines to do so. While this proposal is a signaling proposal, actionable plans outlined here are enforceable through the Terra Community Trust guidelines. The end goal is to recover the value lost in May 22. DPEG of SDT from the IMF FDR with USTC was most affected while streaming streamlining lunk burn processes. So the two things here in simple terms is repeg USTC, burn Luna Classic. Ultimately, that is what we want. It is the biggest potential burn of Luna Classic. It's also the biggest potential utility that Luna Classic could have. It says, ultimately, the results are we either yes, go for it, and it then becomes capable of enactment, including and not limited to financial teams contributing work, altering the proposal for communal benefit or other relevant tasks. And if we don't do it, well, then nothing happens with it. It's as simple as that. What is the motivation? Well, it's a really interesting point here. This is about how do we bring utility back and more importantly the ability to generate meaningful revenue through Teluna Classic. As we would all agree it is extremely limited right now and we are kind of living off potential volume trading and a few applications. It's something I've talked about on the channel quite a few times. How do we burn and bring applications on at the same time. It says Terra stablecoins can be thought of like an option inside of a stablecoin when it is off peg. We retain optionality even when the stablecoins are stable, meaning we have the choice to where to allocate the money. When it is depegged, we are presented with less choice as many consumer businesses, for example, will not accept a payment that changes value dynamically. So again, the point of a pegged uh, cryptocurrency is that the value is the same. And that was the whole point of the algorithmic part of it was that using Luna Classic, it would make maintain its peg. Now, I'm not going to go through the code as, you know, I certainly are a technical individual and I'm not going to insult anyone's intelligence by going through it and pretending I do because I have absolutely no idea. What I can do though is read and break some of this down and ultimately get to the understanding of what is coming. So the ERM can be, um, can be upgraded or modified. It is an open source high level model designed to bolster the robustness of the Terra stablecoin mechanism. Remember how it works by burning or minting Luna Classic. Now we know minting will not be an option anymore as that code has already been passed. And this is then therefore, how do we then continue to do it? An alternative to measuring timeframes is to use theta or time to expiry. We define a certain number of blocks under modifier block duration, which can allow us to expire the incentive modifier after a certain block period. Note that this makes a notable difference to the block-based MEV, which contrasting it with delta time, the expiry can occur during a block with that delta time. It goes on to talk about ultimately the delta, the vendor, the price volatility, and the gamma. How much does one asset derive changes in price? What is the difference between the initial part of the transaction and the last part? And ultimately, what is the interest? So staking yield, effective price, etc. It kind of goes on to talk about it in a little bit more detail, creating that soft peg now soft peg is how do we just start to move that peg in increments up to ultimately not just 
ram it back to a dollar because everyone would sell. That's just reality. And at the same time, it wouldn't be sustainable. So it says, for example, in the last reported aggregate exchange rate for USDR is 1000 USDR. Then the ERM determines that this is a soft peg. The ERM then determines the modifier range by filtering the soft peg rate through an operator function. For example, soft peg plus 500 USDR and soft peg minus 500 DSR. This defines the soft pegs ultimately less than what we want to get to, much more attainable, build up to that stabilize and then push on rather than like we said just bring the hammer down and go back to a dollar straight away what is ultimately in this proposal then and it says the proposal outlines an action plan that the community can act on or modify according to preference so it's a small group of individuals act as validators for code aka the developers the only alternative to developer consensus is to create a new repository and obtain validator consensus to accept their repository failure to reach developer consensus renders the proposal null and void what is it they are trying to bring out to us well excuse me well the core hurdle is ensuring that the participating markets are on board with this idea this includes any market that services terra assets on the native level and tokens that are included wrapped versions dex markets and centralized exchanges by not obtaining cross-market consensus all actions taken by the lunk blockchain validators and delegates through parameter change voting can affect external markets positively or negatively and the last thing we want to do is upset the exchanges that are part of this so the community also has to implicit find an actual responsibility to the market that they have affected today i.e all markets have been affected by a first second or tertiary degree exposure to terra assets for example proposals that negatively affect investments in wrap tokens like wrap luna as they are directly linked to the price of lung so we saw that with coinbase and they're having wrapped luna classic and people still have it stuck on there it says it suggests that the community uses a solution like snapshot to obtain sentiment before asking other markets to enact governance processes as it costs money to do so failure to obtain sufficient cross-market consensus and determine through majority vote in each market renders the proposal null and void so what at the core of this does it mean? Well, the ERM, like I said, will allow that soft cap. It hits the soft cap. It then switches off and allows the market to catch up. Therefore, it doesn't run away with it. And ultimately, that difference between the price is what will be used to drive it. What are the cons of it and the pros? Well, simply put, the pros come down to designing a more efficient system for the Luna Classic and USTC that can burn more than the tax rate, create a smooth environment for decentralized applications. Remember, using USTC allows that intrinsic value of that coin and ultimately reach the penultimate goal of repegging USDC. The cons for this proposal is that it's costly to make now and over time. And so if the community is not interested in expenditure that developers or contributors request for Ziggy, or do they not have the means to enact parts of the proposal that the proposal has failed by way of default? So again, it's going to come with a significant cost and we know at the minute, well, cost is a challenge for Luna Classic. We already had the Terra Rebels take their hands on 150k. We've paid our layer one development team 150k as well, and we'll continue to do that by each quarter. So again, it is a you know it is a cost to the Terra Luna Classic community that community pool that we have now. Can we afford it? Yes. Um, do should we afford it? Well, that's where the voting comes in, and ultimately that's where we will get to it. But a very very interesting article, an incredibly well thought out article that could actually see us repeg USTC. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this? Do you think this is a viable option to repeg USTC? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel nearly at 14,000 subscribers and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.